How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting and welcome back to Steins Gate. So, we have done it. We've cracked into the system. We've got our accounts going. Um, I don't think we have this, the files that the IBM 5100 can download yet because we have to still integrate it into the system, which is going to be really challenging. Uh, but Dottery's on it, Master Hacker, or Super Hacker. Uh, we, are, how, how, we now, however, do have a administration administration account, so we're looking at all the stuff and we learned about the truth behind the Jelly Man, which I I am surprised I didn't see coming. I, I I saw it coming, but like only like a few minutes before we hit it. <clears throat> but they've successfully been transporting people into the past, but they've been dead. So we're going to see the explanation of how that's possible. Whew, here we go. Yeah, once again, I'm a little suspicious of that. Hmm. You my favorite right arm. He only has, he has, he has multiple, you see. Super hacker, dokke. That's the same thing. Hacker? <laughs> That's Christina. Hmm. Shall I gander? Hope you guys don't mind. So, are you not to scale? Okay. Nope. No clue. <laughs> uh, well, the only thing I know is that they have, like, so maybe it's two ends of the wormhole that's created that needs to do for time travel, traveling through space time. However, we have uh, super gravity in there and so perhaps this is depicting here the capsule that they use whatever they use to send people back um is creating its own the anti-gravity bubble you know we need to have like the super massive amount of anti-gravity in order to counteract the super gravity that's trying to collapse the tunnel and so they have the generator in there and the target so perhaps with the, the funnel going this way on the left side of the screen Perhaps that's depicting some type of uh, <clears throat> a thrust or a depiction of the force of movement. Um, yeah, you can see faintly under the not area not to scale. You can kind of see area. Oh no, it's showing the area of the uh, the bubble. Hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know which direction this is heading towards, but it does look like we have almost like a cushioning effect of this of the wormhole tunnels going through, and it's causing a reciprocal compression. So it's like it's. It's it effectively it's like a lump underneath your sheet where it's sliding across and kind of forcing the tidal waves, I guess, the force waves. Like it, it reminds me a lot of looking at um, elect uh, magnetic fields, like the, the but that's because magnetic fields are very they're, they're just one of the many forces that and so gravity probably works in very similar ways. Let's like let's see if uh, Kudusu can actually answer this question because I'm pretty much just guessing. <laughs> This is in English too, <clears throat> so I have no choice but to rely on my assistant. <clears throat> sure thing. Kudusu's eyes dart left to right across the lines. Her early reluctance has vanished. It looks like she's as curious as I am. Yeah. Ooh, oh, so just like Titer said. あ、うん。なんか。どういう意味だ。ほぼ一緒なのよ。ジョンタイターが語った理論の内容と。uh, we need to talk. <laughs> can you can can you come here? I have that computer you're looking for. Uh, I think we need to work together. ざっと説明すると、LHC によって陽子を高速の99.99999999%まで加速して正面衝突させるの。いや、that's yeah, pretty っていうとても狭い範囲に圧縮して押し込むことができる。Okay. Yeah, that is 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's down to the level of planks. Like, like on the plank scale, like, like that's the fundamental building blocks of what we theorize build up matter. Uh, we've got some decent evidence for it, but still, you like at that point, you're, it's almost guesswork. But like, if they're smashing down protons to that size, that that's crazy. Like, I like actually, it's kind of long lines I was trying to describe last time. It's like if atoms, which are tiny, but if you had an atom the size of a football stadium, and she's talking about compressing that to probably the size of a tic tac. Maybe even further. Like Tic Tac might be give too generous a size. Nihongo de oke, sangyo de. Three lines max. It's a haiku. Sugoku semai basho. A small mass. Sugoku chisai shitsuryo. Thrust into a narrow space. Oh, my terrible mind. Terrible jokes. Small. It's, uh, sorry. Uriyari nejikomu. With great force. Yeah, okay. The explanation is too vague. Like you said for three lines. It, oh shoot, ah oh, no. I have Danu. Oh no. I can't help it. My mind went there too. Huh? The whole thing. But never mind. Science. Science. Mind of science. Mind of science. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like she's talking to me. Uh, I'm not, I promise. So you, Maxi Shimo, Nakanaka no Moso no Ryuk no Takasajane? Aww. Hey, he's Johnny Sunna! Her blushing cheeks make her denial less than effective. Aho, I think he's Runa, Christina. Tsuzukiho. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Yes, protect pression. Mini uh, micro singularity is the proper term. This process with two micro sing. Okay. Uh, how, but how would you control that at that level? Like, we can barely observe that kind of stuff. Like, most of the time we can't. We kind of just. We find weird stuff that happens, and we use math to figure out what's probably going on. This level of under of understanding, especially something on the scale and size they're talking about, at that level, how would you be able to distinguish between one and two um, micro singularities, and then somehow be able to actually use them functionality and how they wouldn't collapse in on each other? A black hole with two cores, like a Cowlick with two hairs. No, I don't think that's it. Okay. Let, let me try this. Let me try this. <laughs> uh, no, I'll not have it much. Uh, maybe if you have some kind of freaky morphing power where you take two, uh, I don't know, magical girls and they fuse into a Super small magical girl pair? I don't know. I don't know. Hi, hi. Miku chan to Kuro chan de ii ka? Mike chan and Kuro chan. <laughs> That's awesome. Shimai to ka moeru ze, ha ha. Miku chan to Kuro chan wa denshi o atae ruto jiyu ni ayatsurere yo ni naru no yo. Ah. <laughs> but effective. Man, she's good at coming up with this. Denki shokku de goumon ka. Sore nante eroge? Okay, well, I know what that is, but just for the audience's sake, it's short for erotic game, games with erotic content. Won't see too much of that on my channel. <laughs> A, it's not very YouTube friendly, and B, I only play the ones that actually have good story content. So, I mean, it could be one, but most of those are just not. Uh, 
操作できるようになった2人を超高速回転させるの。Right. I like that face first, the cute smile wink. すると理論的にミクちゃんとクロちゃんは2人とも魔法少女。リング上得意点に変身する。変身バンクですね。わかります。キュー、あ、いやいや、さあ、the typical transformation scene sequ- first the transformation sequence in the, in the henshin hero and magical girl anime since stock transformation scenes are used in nearly every episode, their animation is done independently and in advance. As a result, the production quality is often higher than that of the rest of the anime and often includes suggestive poses and lack of clothing, although you never see anything, because it's got to be PG. Oh, anime. Well, looks like these two have found common wavelength. Right. So, 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 Field. I don't know if it would be a gravitational field, electromagnetic field, or a combination of the two.、Uh, maybe that's how it performs a protective bubble that might let it go through a wormhole. So, no, 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 Um, though they will make a,、uh, what is it called? A, 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 a accretion disks. It's the same fundamental、um, forces that make the, the solar systems that tend to be horizontal. It's the idea that while、uh, rotating around an object,、uh, there's a tendency for all the upward and downward motions of rotation to cancel each other out. And so they eventually form a plane. But it's mostly, it's not really due to the fact that it's like, it's like the black hole spinning doesn't cause that effect. Not like a, like a drain or like a making a whirlpool in like the, those cups. Like if you ever take two,、so, uh, two liter bottles and stick a, a way to connect, connect them together and you can spin them and you can create a vortex, it's not like that. Black holes are effectively an object that just pulls things in from all directions. Things that are falling into a black hole just tend to, by, by the n- nature of physics, create a,、uh, a planar disk as they enter, but it's mostly just the way physics works. It's not anything to do with the spin of the black hole. So, the way that the black hole is in the black hole is the black hole is in the black hole. Exactly. The black hole is in the black hole is the black hole. The black hole is in the black hole is the black hole. The black hole is in the black hole is the black hole. The black hole is in the そこに向かってあらゆるものが落ちていってるの。Exactly. From all directions. それは点っていうぐらいだから回転はしてない。一方のカーブラックホールはさっき言った通り中心が点じゃなくてリング状なのよ。Oh, interesting. Okay, so she sounds like she's describing Almost like a donut shape. Like,、uh, like there's a space in the middle, and then the black hole material, maybe those two black holes are rotating very, very quickly around each other. So, like, if you could sit in the center of those two black holes, you would probably you'd be stuck, but you wouldn't be pulled into them if you weren't ripped to pieces.、Um, but, like, you'd be kind of like, kind of like, a, like a neutral zone where they're fighting over each other, possibly. That's, that's what it sounds like to me.、Um, Because that's the only type of rotation I can imagine happening at the level beyond the, like, the threshold of the horizon, like the, what's it called? The event horizon. Like, once you cross that, you're, you're pretty much done. But what happens in there, we don't know much about. So you could t- possibly have them, once beyond that point, doing that type of spin. But who knows what that would do? Like, once you cross the event horizon, things get weird. And like time stops working right. And that's, that's part of why even this, like, black holes tend to be involved in time travel. It's because m- mathematically, when you start looking at time,、uh, there are models where you can kind of see how once you cross an event horizon, time both stops and then ends. It goes backward, it goes forward, it kind of just collapses on itself. And the rules, we, they, we don't know what happens. Not that you can ever get there. Miku-chan and Kuro-chan are, for the first time, they are not going to be able to 
魔法を少女化すると心臓が体内でぐるぐるとリング状に回転してるって考えて。Oh, sure, right. グロは勘弁だお。<笑>ジョシュよ、お前はさっきこう言ったな。カーブラックホールは実在したとしても、証明しようがないと。それはどういう意味だ I'm guessing she's going to talk about the event horizon problem here. ブラックホールにはイベントホライゾンというものがある。いうん。Like、you can go to Earth and you can look and you can see constellations like you would see here, and then you can go and visit those stars. Like, go and find them. It's really, really cool and very, very accurate. And one of the coolest things they've done is, like, is how they do black holes because they work on it on the way that scientifically, what would a black hole look like if you tried to approach it?、Um, and it's much more accurate than the things you see in Hollywood. Like,、um, Interstellar, one of my favorite movies ever. Pretty dramatized. A black hole, like. You could, it could kind of look like that, but it wouldn't, you wouldn't see it like that. Like, in order to see it the way they portray it, you really would have to be so close to it that you're already pretty much inside of it. Approaching a black hole is really bizarre, though. And、uh, Elite Dangerous does a great job of it. So, if you're interested, let me know in the comments below.、Um, and I'll, I'll record a clip of that from Elite Dangerous, and I will put it in front of the next video just so you can kind of see what we imagine a black hole would look like if you actually were to go find one. Anyway, well, let's continue. <laughs> この内側に入ると時間と空間の役割が入れ替わってしまうわけで時間と空間の役割が入れ替わる Like time becomes almost like a three dimensional space and space becomes a linear path It's very it, it, maybe like that's one way you can interpret what the math says The math kind of it's like At, at the, at the, once you go into an event horizon, effectively our math tells us you divide by zero, which mathematically is impossible. But in a black hole, it can happen. I'm not saying you actually, that's not what the math actually says. That's an example of how it says impossible things happen there. <laughs> and it's like, the math says it's there, and there's no other answer. Yeah, but that, like I said, that's, like, it's really complicated. I wish I could explain it. There was a really good explanation of it、um, on a Doctor Who special, I think. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was talking about the reality of time travel, and it talks about this. It talks about how, like,、um, I'll try to explain it real quick, but it's probably going to be really confusing, so buckle up for this one. This is going to be a talking heavy one. So, if you can imagine my hands represent, like, time. It's almost like a plane. I have a timeline, which is your past. It's a, set of, it's a set of events and places you've been and the things you've done, things you've said. It's, everything's done, so it's already it's like mapped. You can kind of track it. Then you reach the point where you are now, and then time becomes this funnel, like an open funnel, like this, like starting at the point based on、uh, the palm of my hands, that's you. And then we expand outward, like this, because the possibilities of the places you can be. The things you can say, and the, the people you talk to, and the, the, the events that happen in your life. When, you get, when you're talking about like, 
I don't know, an hour from now. I mean, it's very unlikely that I'll be in Lubbock, Texas an hour from now, considering the fact that I am like uh, 1,500 miles away. Like, I just can't be there. And so there's like a limited amount of options where I can be in an hour. But in five days, I could be in Lubbock, Texas, because it's not inconceivable that I could drive there randomly. I'm not going to, but I could. And so that's where like the expansion of possibility comes in. When you start applying the event horizon math to uh, an entity, like say a person or an atom falling into the event horizon, that funnel we're talking about starts to get smaller again. Because one, the closer you get to an event horizon, the less options you start to have of things being able to happen. And then those lines that kind of converge and they come to a point, and then they kind of do this weird reflect, refraction that's really odd, where the, the, the angle of the, the events that could be takes a turn 90 degrees. And suddenly, once you cross the event horizon, according to the math, the ability for that matter to be displaced into space, probably is something else, usually radiation, becomes likely. But it also works that way going back in time. So, conceivably, the emissions, the x-rays, the gamma rays that are emitted by black holes, which is like the, it's belching out the remains of the matter it eats, could technically be uh, energy that originated from matter that hasn't been devoured yet. Because in black holes, time really doesn't make much sense and there's no real boundary to it anymore. It's kind of like when you have a massive knot in a piece of string or an extension cord and you just look at it and you can't tell where things come in and come out because there's literally no sense to it. I mean, in reality there is, but it, like it looks like it makes no sense. In black holes, it really doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm talking so much. That's true. Like matter, at least. Like black holes emit stuff. It's got to come from somewhere. Well, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> Once again, we don't know. <laughs> can't imagine what that's like. Well, it wouldn't be very exciting because, like she said, you can't move in space. You're stuck there. It's not like you're going to be seeing. What well, technically, you'll see everything because you'll be able to see all light from the universe. Because it's taking in light constantly. Being inside a black hole is probably going to be the brightest place in the in like ever. Because all light is being funneled into a single point. Right. That gets really interesting too because time starts to do that stretching as you approach the event horizon. So things would get really strange. Exactly. Exactly.観測も照明も不可能。ただし例外もある。タイムトラベルにカーブラックホールを使う場合、この例外こそが重要なのよ。What is this? I remember we talked about it, but I can't quite recall what she said. もったいぶらずに教えてもらおうか。カーブラックホールは得意点。中心が回転してるわけだから、核運動量が存在する。Angular momentum. Okay, wait. Is she saying that angular momentum would provide an escape vector? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's that's really stretching physics, though. If that's what she's going for. だから日本語でオッケーだって。中心点が回転してるってさっき説明したでしょ。その回転運動量って思えばいい。Right, Okay, this is getting into stuff that I've only read about in science fiction. A singularity is usually concealed by its event horizon, which renders observation impossible. Naked singularity is a singularity whose event horizon has been removed. It can therefore be observed and even traveled through. 
The existence of negative singular energy is purely theoretical. Like, I don't think it's just theoretical. Like, I don't think there's even math that really backs this up. Like, it's one of those things where, like, it could be real. Like, if it could be real, like, well, these are things that can happen. But, like, so far we have... We, we, like, there are things that we, like, haven't observed but we're pretty confident are real. This is one of those things where we're pretty sure it's not real. Right, I forgot you were here. Um, Naked Singularity. I mean, the reason why this is really weird is that it's kind of like what I was saying before. She's effectively saying that like they get enough angular momentum that something can fly into it and you gain the incredible velocity of falling into something with that much of a gravitational pull. But because you can use the spinning uh, disks, the, the disk is created from the spin of the two black holes, you can then accelerate enough. Literally, this is talking faster than light. Literally traveling faster than light. Faster than, than light falling into a black hole. You can then be whisked out of there. And that removes the event horizon. The removing of the event horizon simply means that stuff that goes in can now come out. So you could finally see what was in there, which, like I said, ridiculous. Like, holy crap. If this were real, it literally would mean half of our physics means nothing. <sighs> could and I ignore our daughter's nonsense? Right. イベントホライゾンがなくなることで時間と空間の役割が入れ替わる必要はなくなった。裸の特異点に向けてその入れ替わりを回避して突入できるようになる。そして裸の特異点の存在は一般相対性理論と因果率を破綁させるわ。Yep, there she is. She's succinctly putting physics dies. <laughs> we go back to square one. So, so no more. No, but apparently it does. The negation of the theory of relativity and the principle of causality means serious paradoxes can occur. Didn't Kurusu say that earlier? Kore made mo. Sonzai suru kano se wa takai to yosok sare teita. It never lies, but it also could be very theoretical. Like, just because you can make math make numbers doesn't mean it's actually real. I mean, it's cool, and we've made discoveries with math systems like that. You know, it's very possible this is real. But we, like, we are, li like she said, we're literally talking about, like, if this is real, it would be changing the way we see everything. And it would throw into doubt a lot of stuff we were concrete about. Yeah, but that'd be really hard still. John Titer said the same thing. So Titer's machine is this, using CERN's technology. The Titer's time machine was compact, small enough to fit into a car. The LHC is 27 kilometers long, but they managed to get it down to travel size in just 24 years. Yeah, that is odd. Like, you can't just, like, I doubt you could just plug in, like, to a power source, because one, it would have to be enormous power source, and for another, you'd have to give it a sustainable amount of electrons. Like, you'd have to be giving the thing fuel in the system. Right. リフターって uh, 422,000 words. Well, of course, you type anything into Google to bring up anything that's even remotely that word. 
機密でも何でもないのかなもしかしてこれじゃないかイオンクラフトイオンつまり電化を持った原子や分子のことね意味としては一致するイオンクラフト Interesting But then the link says Iron Craft Lifter Takes us to a video Looks like some dim garage Oh wait I've seen that Oh That's the thing it makes it, it makes um, Electromagnetic fields that like Allow it to, to kind of lift up Into the air and fly around Only one egg But it doesn't seem like anything secretive Just a garage like you'd see in an average American home At the center of the screen is a triangular shape made out of some kind of metal. It looks like about 10 centimeters high and about 30 centimeters wide. It's connected to some sort of generator by a thin wire. It looks like some really cheap equipment. That's all there is. Nothing else. After explaining something in a language I don't understand, Russian maybe? The person filming the video slowly turns the power on. And then. Oh, we thought. The silvery triangle floats soundlessly into the air. Then it remains stationary. Not quite. Yeah, it would be. Yep.Kirishi <laughs> doesn't sound as confident as she usually does. We log off information on the Ion Craft Lifter. Lots of sites have detailed instructions on how to make lifters, but I don't know how they work since the sites all give conflicting theories. Was there anything in the microwave that could have been a lifter? やはりこれは反重力装置ということだろう。Exactly. So she's saying it's not quite because it's like anti-gravity would be something you could probably apply as an anti-gravity force anywhere, but in this case it's very specific. Incredible. My curiosity grows by more by the second. でもセルンはこのリフターの調整に苦労してるみたいね。ミクロ特異点の重力調整がうまくできていない。だから完全な裸の特異点を作れていない。Right. Right.その結果、あらゆる物質がフラクタル構造になってしまった。という仮説を提示してみる。実際はどうなってるのかさっぱり。調べるだけで何ヶ月もかかりそう。Kirishi shrugs her shoulders in resignation. Months? Like you're gonna need equipment. You'll need CERN's equipment. How are you gonna get your hands on a replica of the CERN Super Collider in a month? リフターはまだ未完成。Right. If Tyler is telling the truth, then CERN won't complete their time machine for another 24 years. Smarty. Ore Tachika Sakini Denwa Renji Kako Kario Kanse Saseba. Serum will dashinuk Kotomo Kano to you, Wakata. Kibo got Zen Zen Chiga. Sereni, Serum decide Kanse Sasete Nainoni. Antani de Kiriwa can I desho. On one hand, we have successfully seen similar reactions. We've already translocated bananas. I mean, that's a huge step. Once again, I am still convinced that the phone wave itself is not a time machine nor time machine capable. I think it was feeding off of energy of whatever that satellite thing was that appeared inside the building. Right. Right. 
というかその可能性は限りなく 100% に近い。I would, be, I would say the same. Nine times out of ten, if not like 99 times out of ten, I'm sure they just appeared in the middle of space because Earth is not sitting still. The 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 必ず地球がある場所に到着できるようになると。That might do it. I just realized something horrible though. John Titer, if he's real, came from the future, came back. Certain could circumvent 23 or 24 years of work if they just grab his time machine and replicate and decon. Right, what do you call it? Reverse engineer it. Okay, grief. Titer の説明はその点については曖昧だわ。そういう機会があるというだけじゃ。説明にはならない。Why don't we talk to him? Can I talk to him? Like, where was he? I thought we had emailed him or something. And what is that text anyway? John Titer. Can I like contact him? Like, I want to call him. Come on, dude, think about it. Just call the dude. でも時間移動したら同じ場所に出るだけじゃないの ?No, I just explained that. 出るわけないでしょ。なんで ?Cuz you're freaking on a planet that's moving through space. What is it? Fetties. Okay, face. Phantasm's cat meow. Have you bought Phantasm's debut single Nyan? It's the theme song for Real Net Kaku. So it's a really popular fairy spread of five copies Nyan. It's the duty is the real net. As the real net here. Anyway, the... there's an important secret hidden in Phantasm songs. The key unlocking it is. Oops, the bell is ringing down. Looks like someone's here. Better see who it is.、Uh, important secret. I'm aware of the sale. They're said to contain directions to the sanctuary as well as prophecies regarding the end of the world. Isn't that right? Theme song. The another part of Operation Stupid Stupidify Humanity. Explain. <laughs> and Phantasm. Bad vocalist. I feel strong resonance from her. Now,、nah, let's get the more exciting one. I'm aware they said to send. <laughs> uh, why not? Exactly. So, Jiten to go ten. Chiku no Jiten Sokdoa, Jisok ni ste daitai, send up Pekogu Kilo. Yep. Real fast. The t e n s o k d o a j i s o k de k a n g a i r u t o o y o s o Juichiman y o n s e n k i l o Super fast. As a matter of fact, I think、uh, Vsauce did a video about talk, talking about this, but it's very true. If the Earth were to literally just stop, like, from, from, like going from its current speed to literally hitting zero, all life would be ejected off the planet and killed. Like, instantly. Actually, if, even if just the rotation stopped, we would all be flung. Like, Because you have moment, you know, keeping momentum. So the earth literally stopped. All the houses, all the buildings, all the people would then suddenly be flying in the next direction, in like the, in the I guess, west direction, about like, like, 60, like,、uh, like, like 16,000 like, kilometers per hour. Is that what she said? I think that's what she said. It's like, like, we'd be dead. We'd be destroyed. The only people who might be safe would be the people on the poles, and they'd probably spin like a top for an hour. So, yep, except the Earth doesn't And then the galaxy is like launching itself and traveling at like incredible, incredible millions upon millions of miles an hour speeds. Oh, it's insanity. s h o s e t s are kiddo. Daita i c h i n i c h i n i go send man kilograi chikuga i d o s u r h a y a s a d e n e How could she roll all the numbers so smoothly off her tongue? I definitely don't know the numbers, I just know the facts. Like, I know that that's how it is. 
I get that she's a genius, but it's hardly common knowledge. Has she been doing research on the topic? You don't need to. It's just, if you're just interested, you probably know at least the basics. The numbers... That's but no, it's, it's absolutely real. Which is just a small fraction of the known universe. それらの銀河群も超銀河団も動いているかもしれないわけそうなるとさらに飛躍的に私たちの移動距離は伸びるもう、we it's a hard concept to kind of grasp, but the more you think about it and contemplate what that means, your like your brain starts to work itself and starts to un like it gets more used to the concept, and you can un expand yourself even more and comprehend even more. That's why learning is so important. You go to school and learn stuff that you think you'll never use. Like you may think you'll never use your math classes, or maybe not your English classes, but just the expansion of your thoughts. Do so much for your capacity and your ability to be creative and to think things through and to find new options and new solutions. That's why education is so important, and that's why you should always continue to learn, I mean, even when you graduate. You don't have to regiment yourself like you did for school, but find subjects you find interesting, read books, and make yourself more intelligent. And you'll find that it helps you in ways you'd be surprised you would never expect. <laughs> It's true. <笑>手帳じゃ無理だし。同じ場所に移動しようと思ったら、スパコンで計算したって、会が出るまでに何年かかるか。ふふ。ならば仕方あるまい。タイタンを探し出し、その可変重力システムを借りようではないか。いや、